in this video, I'm going to show you how to find um, the maximum and minimum of a function. I'm on my scratch pad. If you need to clear it, you can hit doc B. I'm going to go over here to um, the little graphing part. Remember, I can either use my trackpad to get there or I can use my little calculator button, my little scratch pad button to toggle over. And if I lose this, remember, I can hit tab to get it back. Um, so I'm going to type in x minus 3 parentheses times x plus 4 times x minus 1. So that's the function I'm going to get. Um, I need to find my max and my min. It would be nice if I could see my max and my min. I'm going to try to do a zoom fit just to check it out, see if I can find it. So I'm going to go menu, window zoom, zoom fit. And that's okay, but I really can't see my max and my min very well. So I'm going to adjust my window settings again. Um, it looks like I'm below 100 and then maybe, I don't know, we saw it at the bottom before, so maybe just negative 10. It doesn't look like I need to adjust my X or my Y. So I'm going to go to menu, window zoom, window settings. I'm going to adjust my Y min to negative 10 and my Y max to like 100 and see if that looks a little bit better. That's much better. And if I want to, I can just click, hold down and drag. If I want to see how I grabbed a little hand like a piece of paper, so if I want to move it up a little bit. Now I'm going to grab my max, my min, which works very similar to a zero. So I'm going to hit menu, analyze graph, and I'm going to do my maximum first because that's what was first. doesn't matter which one you do first. I've got my little vertical dashed line. So I'm going to go, it says lower bound. I'm going to click somewhere to the left of that maximum. I'm going to, it says upper bound, so I'm going to keep going until that word maximum stops. See how it was moving, 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 and then it stopped. So that's got to be my relative maximum. Um, and then the next one I'm going to do is my minimum. Works very same. So I'm going to go menu, analyze graph, and we're going to go to minimum. I'm going to click to the left of this minimum right here. So the left, and then I'm going to click, keep going, going, going until the word minimum stops. Click to the right and there's my minimum value. 